Hey there, preppers. Welcome back to Prepping for Tomorrow. Today we've got an urgent topic to discuss. Ever thought about the foods you're stashing away for those just-in-case scenarios? Well, it turns out, not all foods are equal when it comes to long-term storage. Some can do more harm than good or simply won't last as you'd expect. So, what are these pantry pitfalls you should be avoiding? Stay tuned to find out what they are, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. First up on our list are pre-cut vegetables and fruits. These may seem like a time-saving miracle, like someone else has done half the work for you. But here's the catch. When vegetables and fruits are cut, they begin to lose moisture and their nutritional value starts to decline, not to mention they're far more likely to spoil and rot than their whole counterparts. So, when you're building that survival pantry, it's wise to choose whole fruits and veggies. They'll not only last longer, they'll also provide more of the vital nutrients you'll need in a survival situation. Next in line, we have freshly ground nut butters. Oh, how we love the taste of freshly ground almond or peanut butter. But here's the thing, the oils in these nut butters can go rancid over time, especially when exposed to heat and light. And rancid nut butter isn't just unpleasant to eat, it can also be harmful. So, instead of freshly ground, opt for commercially processed nut butters. They may not taste quite as fresh, but they've been prepared in a way that extends their shelf life significantly, making them a safer choice for your stockpile. Now let's pour ourselves a glass of juice. You might think that vegetable and fruit juices would be a great addition to your survival pantry. They're packed with vitamins, right? But the truth is, the fresher the juice, the faster it spoils. This is especially true for juices that don't contain added preservatives. And once opened, they can ferment, leading to an unpleasant taste and potential health risks. So it might be better to consider alternatives with longer shelf lives like powdered juice mixes or even canned fruits that you can juice yourself when needed. And there you have it, the first three foods to reconsider when stockpiling for survival. Remember, the key is longevity and preserving as much nutritional value as possible. So consider alternatives with longer shelf lives. Now, let's talk about infused cooking oils. They might be great for that special dish you're whipping up on a regular night, but when it comes to long-term storage, they fall short. Infused oils with added flavors like garlic, chili, or herbs can turn rancid quicker than their plain counterparts. For a more extended storage life, stick to the basics, like olive oil, coconut oil, or even sunflower oil. They're versatile, durable, and won't let you down when you're in need. Let's move on to the next one, ready-to-eat seafood. Now I know what you're thinking, nothing beats the taste of fresh sushi or sashimi. But when it comes to survival, these are a no-go. Ready-to-eat seafood has a notoriously short shelf life, even under refrigeration. So what should you stockpile instead? Well, preserved or canned seafood is the way to go. Tuna, salmon, sardines, they all come canned, and they can last for years. All right, on to specialty flours. These might be tempting for our baking enthusiasts out there. Almond flour, coconut flour, chickpea flour, they all bring something unique to the table. But here's the catch. They can spoil faster than basic flours due to their higher fat content. So, for your survival pantry, you'll want to stick with longer-lasting options like all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour, or cornmeal. They're tried and true, and they won't spoil on you when you're in a pinch. And finally, we come to highly processed foods. They might be convenient, they might be tasty, but they're not your friends when you're prepping for the long haul. Foods jam-packed with additives, preservatives, and artificial ingredients can be tricky to store for extended periods. Plus, they're often lacking in the nutritional value you'll need in a survival situation. Instead, aim for simplicity in your stockpile. Whole foods, canned goods, dried goods. These are the staples you'll want to rely on. And that wraps up our third set of foods to steer clear of when building your survival pantry. Remember, the goal is to stockpile foods that last, that nourish, and that can be versatile in a pinch. Aim for simplicity in your stockpile. Flavored water can be refreshing, but these drinks might lose their taste over time. Yes, you heard it right. That lemon, strawberry, or even coconut-flavored water that you relish might not be the best choice for your survival pantry. The flavors in these water varieties can degrade and become unpalatable over time. Instead, consider stockpiling plain water which has an indefinite shelf life if stored properly. You can always add flavor to it later when you're ready to drink, using fresh fruits or flavor packets with a long shelf life. Now let's move on to canned foods. We know they seem like an obvious choice for long-term storage, but not all canned goods are created equal. Specifically, low-acid canned foods can pose a risk. Why, you ask? Well, low-acid foods, which include vegetables like green beans and corn, some fruits and meats, are more susceptible to foodborne pathogens if not stored properly. 
This risk is amplified if the canned goods don't have reliable expiration dates, so when you're adding canned goods to your stockpile, make sure they're high-acid foods like tomatoes or fruits, which are less prone to bacterial growth. Lastly, for this segment, pay attention to the condition of your canned goods. If you spot any canned foods with dents or leaks, it's best to steer clear. These imperfections can compromise the integrity of the seal, increasing the risk of bacterial contamination. It might seem like a minor dent or a small leak, but it could lead to serious foodborne illnesses. Always inspect your canned goods carefully, and only add cans in good condition to your survival pantry. In summary for this segment, avoid flavored waters which might lose their taste, low-acid canned foods which can be susceptible to spoilage, and canned foods with dents or leaks which can compromise the food safety. Ensure your canned goods have clear and accurate labeling. Remember, prepping is all about ensuring you have safe, nutritious, and palatable food for the long haul. Ready-made meals with short expiration dates might not be the best investment for your survival pantry. They may seem like an ideal option due to their simplicity and convenience, but they have a ticking clock. The nutrients in these meals can degrade over time, leaving you with less sustenance than you might expect. Instead, consider stocking up on ingredients that can be used to prepare meals from scratch. These will typically have a longer shelf life and can offer greater versatility in your diet. Now let's talk about highly perishable meats. Deli meats, while mouthwateringly delicious, can spoil relatively quickly. They are not designed to be stashed away for months, let alone years. Instead, consider alternatives like canned or dried meats. These are specially prepared to last for extended periods and can be a reliable source of protein when fresh meat is not available. Moving on, we have dairy products. Items like milk, yogurt, and cheese can be challenging to stockpile due to their perishable nature. They require refrigeration, and even then, they have a limited shelf life. If you're without power for an extended period, these could spoil rapidly. Instead, explore alternative sources for essential nutrients. Powdered milk, for instance, can be a great substitute. It's long-lasting, easy to store, and can be reconstituted with water when needed. Lastly, we come to desserts with dairy, like pudding and gelatin cups. These sweet treats might seem like a comforting addition to your stash, but they can spoil over time. Plus, they often require refrigeration, which may not always be feasible in a survival situation. Instead, focus on longer-lasting treats for your survival stash. Options like honey, hard candies, or even chocolate can satisfy your sweet tooth without the risk of spoilage. Remember, when it comes to survival, it's not just about having food but having the right kind of food. Foods that are durable, nutritionally dense, and versatile will serve you best in the long run. So make wise choices and build a survival pantry that will truly support you when you need it most. Well, there you have it, folks. 14 foods you should steer clear of when building your prepper pantry. We've covered a lot in our journey today, from the deceptive convenience of pre-cut fruits and vegetables to the potential pitfalls of stockpiling specialty flours. We've learned that while freshly ground nut butters and infused cooking oils may be delicious, their shorter shelf life makes them less ideal for long-term storage. We've also uncovered the truth about ready-to-eat seafood, processed foods, and flavored water, and how these items may not be the best options for your survival cache. We've discussed the importance of being vigilant about canned goods, particularly low-acid ones, and those with dents or leaks. We've also highlighted the risks of prepared foods with short expiration dates and highly perishable meats. We've touched upon the challenges of stockpiling dairy products and the potential spoilage of desserts with dairy like pudding and gelatin cups. Remember, the goal of a survival pantry isn't just to store food but to store the right kind of food. Food that can stand the test of time, provide necessary nutrition, and not lead to unnecessary health risks. And with that, we've reached the end of this enlightening journey. I hope you found this information helpful and that it will aid you in making smarter choices for your survival pantry. Stay prepared, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.